All right, guys, good morning. It's Shalon with the Paradox Gaming Network. And today I'm going to bring you the video for the current event, and that is the Animar Founders Festival. Uh, just going to give you a real quick overview of the event and then an overview of the rewards. Now, I'm really liking this event because everybody loves the Daru. Everybody loves the fact that these guys are completely ridiculous and they have no common sense to the way they do things. Um, they don't like violence, so they have guards around you that'll kill people. I, I just don't get it. But I've actually been fascinated by these characters, and since we get very little Archage lore, uh, I want to know more about these guys. Um, and they come from eggs, which... You know, I should have thought about that. They're lizards. Of course they come from eggs. But it's just one of those really cool little lore things. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you right now, you just pour it in. You've got ports in your capital city or in Diamond Shores. And make sure when you come to the festival, you have everything you need. I'm going to clip over to where the event is real quick. But while I fly there, notice where I'm going. I'm going to the center of Animar. And all the mailboxes are located around the edge. So as I'm going to say here in a second, you got a couple of events. You're going to raise an egg. You're going to sedate some sky fins, and that's really easy. You're going to deliver iron ingots. Uh, you're going to need 20, so bring them with you because there's no nearby mailbox. And then you're going to dig for treasure. And those times, those times are translated here for you. Uh, obviously, you're going to notice a slight change in the video footage i'm recording most of this early and then i'm going to splice in the dig for treasure when the time comes up so the first thing i recommend is i recommend doing your egg first and the reason why is there's going to be a bunch of steps for your egg and then you're going to have to wait 10 minutes to go back and pick your egg up now one thing i don't like about this event already is that it's an rng event uh, there are five different types of eggs, each giving you a different amount of festival coins. But in order to get the title for the event, you need to get an Astra Blessed Daru Egg. Now, if anybody figures out the pattern or the order for uh, which steps you need to take, please be a good person and share that. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to do Egg Daycare. And really simple, you're going to get an egg item. You're going to get this Daru egg cradle. And don't get ahead of yourselves. People are going to instantly see other people over there. Oh, hey, what are they doing? No, you got to come over here to one of the incubators. Now, you'll notice that I come over here and I place my Daru egg in the incubator. It takes just a second. And then it gives me a moist Daru egg. Probably not the best word selection, guys, but moist it is. After that, you come over to a lily pad hatchery, making me believe that those lizards are actually frogs. Now, you're going to go ahead and put down your moist Daru egg. And the first thing you're going to have to do with it is you don't have a choice. You're going to have to provide shade for it. Now. Don't leave your egg unattended for more than 10 hours or it dies. Now, as you can see, 56 seconds of waiting. It's kind of like growing a pet. Occasionally, however, through some of the steps, it's going to say talk to it. I'm just going to fast forward. I'm going to do one of those cool transitions I do. Okay, now that it's been a minute, my egg is bored. I don't know how an egg gets bored. Uh, you can either give the doll, give some dolls to the board egg, which I don't understand why it's a music note, or I can read a book to the board egg. Well, I'm going to read a book to the board egg. I don't, I guess I have egg nursery rhymes. Now, as you can see, I read the book to the board egg, and now it's a bookish egg, and I'm sort of thinking that there is some way to force yourself to the best um, egg, because this changes. Uh, as you see, this is a bookish egg. In my slide, it had the two little Daru. And now I'm going to talk to the egg. I, I, don't, I don't know what I have to say to an egg. But 
Alrighty, now my egg. Oh no, my egg is lonely. I will find friends for my egg. I, I, I'm not quite sure who's going to show up though. <gasps> Yadas! That's kind of cool. <gasps> and a kitty! Because everybody needs friends. Alrighty, and now you see my egg is sleeping for 10 minutes. So that's why I recommend coming over here and doing your egg first. Now, your egg can sit there. It's, it's completely fine. It's safe. There's no egg snatchers. Well, there are actually egg snatchers, and we're going to go deal with them. Uh, next one is this guy over here. He wants 20 iron ingots. I, I swear that they're the richest things in the Arc Age world, and they want your 20 ingots. So that one's easy. That's just a click over. Now, like I said, there's no egg snatchers, except I lied. There really are. The uh, Animar egg snatchers, they are actually... Uh, sky fins that are going to try to come and eat the Daru's eggs which is really quite morbid and disturbing if you think about this uh, concept I mean you would think that these guys they're the, they're the Daru man they're rich you think that sedating they hire guards to kill you if you try to pirate why are they sedating why are they not exterminating I would be exterminating sky fins anyway you just come over here you find three of them and you click. Now, don't ask me why they sent you up this rock with a, uh, they made you come up here with a magic rock. It's literally just, it's just down, it's just down the path. I mean, so you can slide yourselves on down here. And that's really it for the festival. Uh, I'm going to come back here in a few minutes and record the rest of the egg. And then I'm going to be back here at the appropriate time to do the dig for treasure and splice that in. So I will see you guys uh, in just a few minutes. Alrighty, and as we can see, our egg is hatching. And we pick this bad boy up. And we get a Captain Daru egg. Now, I'm going to flip back over to the slides. And what that tells us is, is that is a three festival coin. It is not the Astra Blessed Egg that we're looking for, but it's not the bottom one. So we're going to take this egg over to the Happy Egg uh, Warden. And we're going to collect our five coins for the quest. All right, so we got our five coins for the quest right here. You can also see when they remove the Captain Daru egg, we got three additional coins because we raised a captain's egg. Alrighty, guys, so what we have here is we have the Dig for Treasure event. Come over here to Ian, talk to Ian, and... Go searching in mounds of sand. We are looking for buried treasure. And wow, that was really fast. It's literally like the igloo event. Dig up the dirt, get the treasure, and get your festival coins. So... There you go. And we're going to get a good picture right here of the Daru. That's a happy Daru. That's a happy, happy Daru on a chest. So that's it, guys. That's what that quest is. Just like the Igloo. I'm going to try to hang out here for a second. See how long it takes for the treasure chests to disappear. Okay, guys. What would a festival be without some rewards? And I'm going to show them to you on the uh, the PowerPoint. Then I'm going to go in and just click through them real quick. Um, Guild of Stars, three tokens apiece. You know, not necessarily the best uh, exchange rate, especially for people who don't want to wait like 13 minutes to raise an egg. Uh, they do have the great mission, the book. I'm going to be getting this just because I want to see what that book says about the star story of the Daru. Uh, the crest frame, uh, I, I imagine some people are going to get those couple of flower beds, street lights, the Daru statue, definitely getting a Daru statue, probably two. Uh, some fancy fence posts and fancy fences, and then armchairs, mini cradle, and some leafy leaves. 
So let's take a look at those real quick. So not going to be able to see them too well, but there is the hover bloom, uh, what the hover bloom looks like. So you're going to be able to get the hover bloom flower bed. And then the Darukali flower bed. So broccoli flower bed. Some street lights. The Daru statue is so much better looking than a Honda Curio statue. Fancy fence posts. Fancy fences. Take a look around. There we go. Fancy fences. Fancy fence posts. So good looking stuff. Street light. Swing back in there to finish off. That's actually that's actually really nice. The the street light. Finish up this. Uh, the armchair. Those are around here. You can take a look at them. The mini cradle. Uh, if you like what the egg look like. And the lotus leaf. I imagine I'm gonna see a lot of lotus leaves on people's properties. And that's really it, guys. That's it for the festival. This one is not too complicated, and the rewards aren't stellar. A uh, very, very cosmetic event. Like I said, I'm really interested in the book. I want to just know what lore they gave us about the Daru. Uh, what we got coming up next is I am going to be releasing Blue Salt Brotherhood Part 1 this weekend. It's all cut. It's all uploaded. Uh, just because a new festival came out, it pushes Arcage 101 to the right. And then uh, Blue Salt Brotherhood Questline Part 2. All of the footage is cut. I've been recording it today while I've been doing the festival. So it's going to take me a day or two to cut that, uh, do the audio on it, and I will get that out to you. Uh, the 4.5 Skill Changes Part 4B Occultism. Translations are done. I need to work on the video. Uh, I'm going to start the translations for defense this weekend. And the dungeon guide for HA, GHA, the footage is cut, and now it's in the editing process. As always, here's all the ways to get in touch with me. Discord is the easiest, Jalan hashtag 8446. And then a special thanks to my sponsors, Jonathan Bentley and Jaywert, as well as Sweet Tart, who is currently sponsoring me on Twitch on a paid subscription, not on an Amazon Prime one. Uh, that's all for the festival, guys. Uh, you'll be seeing some other videos for Arcage 101 come out later this week. And don't forget to join me on Friday for Arcage 101 Live. Hey, you. Yes, you. Yeah, yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Hit that subscribe button. Watch a couple of more videos. Go check out our website.